Hi, this is Alex and today I'm doing a video on a special purpose. Uh, this is the Pioneer PDS503 compact disc player that I have recently bought uh, on eBay. He's a nice guy, uh, but this, uh, this very CD player came unfortunately dead. So it was dead on arrival. I, I have sent him a video. Uh, from unboxing to turning on in one take so it is definitely not my fault and today I will show you and the seller respectively uh, he he sent me a refund which is very nice of him which proves that he's an honest, he's an honest guy but this was just an unfortunate piece of equipment. As I have received the full refund, I promised him to make a quick diagnose of this if I bump into some some stuff like just a broken connector or um, I don't know some easy fix that I, I will I promise to send him uh, money back like uh, if it would be an easy fix for me. Uh, today we will open it. Seems like nobody tampered with these screws or maybe just lightly. So I connected an amplifier. So what is happening? What is happening? It is turning on. It, it, now it is in standby. It is turning on. Lights up. Uh, moves out its tray. It has an interesting loading me mechanism the disc comes like this on top so picture always have to be uh, facing towards the this pad just an interesting uh, way to to do the job so it tries to read we hear some clicking just one click Obviously, there is no noise of uh, spindle rotating, so I presume that something is wrong with spindle motor or with its controlling circuitry. So when when we are trying, it, it does not recognize the uh, disc length, uh, number of tracks, etc. When we are trying to start playing, clicks again, tries to start, and nothing happens nothing happens nothing changes no no hissing noise from the wind one more try click nothing happens and this come up, came out in the same same position i have left it so we will just we will just see i will just put it i will just put it like this so obviously it won't read it if it come back in different position that means that uh, at least spindle motor tries to tries to move uh, otherwise if it came back in the same position we can conclude that spindle motor or its circuitry is not functioning properly so click nothing happens again but this time obviously the disk is not the right side up so opening yeah and the disk stands exactly in the in the position i left it which is which is impossible in case if it at least tries to rotate the plate so let's open it and look inside the insides of a of a player looks like Looks pretty undamaged to me. Nothing is loose, so we we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Maybe uh, we have some oxidized connectors, like this one, which is for the for the pickup for the laser pickup. Yep. And this one is. Yeah, I have printed out already the schematic diagram so I basically uh, I am aware of what the, what am I doing this connector here this connector here that 
connects the uh, spindle motor and carriage motor is this one this uh, blue three blues one one white it's called CN202 if I'm not mistaking yes it is CN202 we just will connect and disconnect and connect it back so we can so we can ver verify if it is if the problem here or maybe here this is the connector this is the connector that came to loading motor but it seems to me like functioning properly it was in standby let's power it up let's let's put a disk here the carriage motor stops correctly so the carriage switch carriage switch open close switch this one is working properly clamp switch and let's let's try again the thing we, we we have already tried let's put it let's put it backwards and uh, see if it tries to to spin up uh, well nope no it does not try to spin up it's standing dead still here and I think I can I'll just move a bit that the disk just to make sure the spindle motor is not locked up which is which can be also now moves freely moves properly let's try to put play what will happen just a clicking so let's try to see what is what do we have on our spindle motor here here is my small pocket oscilloscope let's fire it up let's fire it up and what is coming to our motor so the common the common ground they have the common ground and spindle driver and caddy driver so basically basically it's pickup drive yes so basically we should see uh, an activity an activity on the motor on the on the plus on the plus pole of this motor this is this is obviously the minus yes it is it is common for two motors for for both of them this is this is our spindle motor yes yeah this is scary this is spindle so we should see an activity here mm pretty nothing it has millivolts and some noise so let's let's press button and see what's happening nothing so nothing is on the motor this is the carriage motor no no way okay 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 this is this is more than I, than I supposed to do that, but but let's see. Let's see the spindle motor. The spindle motor SP SPDR. If I'm reading correctly, uh, comes through this operational amplifier, which is IC two O two. This power, this is power amplifier IC202. Inputs are positive and negative five and six, if I'm reading this correctly. So we may observe the activity and and it comes big IC here, like this, yeah, like this. SPDR, SPDR. M O N M O P motor negative motor positive I, I suppose so let's see let's see what's coming what's coming to this to this amplifier let's see it's five and six five and six pins so where is I C I C two O two I C two O two 
This one is, I don't see, IC201. Yeah, it's IC201 and this amplifier is IC202. Perfect. Let's see. The, let's see. Let's see what it, what it has on its pins 5 and 6. Yeah. Uh, fin is not counting 1, 2, 3. Yeah, it's 12, 7. So this is pin 6. Let's put it on 6. Mm, nothing. Let's play. Let's, let's press play button. Nothing changes. So it's pin number six, pin number five. Pin number five. Yeah, it's basically the noise, 15, 15 millivolts of noise. So pressing play button doesn't change anything. Well, that's a PT. Uh -huh. Let's try to put it, let's try to put it into the test mode. I read about the test mode. It's maybe in test mode it will it will do something at least something different from what we have seen from it. So the test mode test mode is activated by by crossing the test point here test point on the board. I, I have already found it. So you have how to do this. Setting these modules to test mode. Turn off the power switch. Press the test mode switch. Well, it's not the switch, it's two jumpers. Turn on the power switch. And the test mode is set correctly. The display is different from what it is usually, is what it usually is. And the power is turned on. If the display is still the same as usual, the test mode had not been set correctly, so repeat the steps. Okay. Let's put it to standby. Uh, I'm gonna use screwdriver. This is our test point. I have have found it already earlier. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not the correct way of doing it. Let's 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 have a pair of tweezers. Let's do it this way. Or yeah, and firing it up. No, nothing happens. Fire up. That's strange. Doesn't react on on test mode. Well, it ceased powering. Mm hmm. Powers up without the short around the test pins, and while having while having the test shorted while having the test been shorted oh, powers up well display is the same as we as we have read before so I'm doing something wrong obviously display should be different as the manual says, I will try it off camera. So maybe I do. It. I'm doing something wrong. So stand by. So here we are. I think in the test mode. The thing is, you should not cycle power switch, but to pull it off of the socket instead. So just turn it on while uh, shorting that power. That test uh, leads. That test jumpers. And I think what what we are seeing here, it is the proper test mode. Well, let's see what we can do in this mode. We can, we can fire up, we can uh, turn on the separately all the, um, all the servos, all the lasers. So, uh, focus servo, uh, spindle servo and tracking servo. So we can, 
you can close and open the server loop so it should like start the start functioning or stop functioning carriage reverse carriage forward stop disk tray open close how to play back a disk in test mode test mode since the servers operate independently blah 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 you should uh, light light up the laser and close the focus loop start the spindle and close the spindle servo and close the tracking loop let's see let's see if what will happen if we well it obviously opens obviously opens so pgm program where is the pgm button yeah here it is pgm button so let's see what let's see and listen at clicking clicking sound nothing happens play you should start the spindle motor yeah it turns it rotates listen to it rotates I don't know if the loop is closed on or not so pause you should close you should press pause and close close the tracking server The disk is turning, you can clearly see it, but if it's outputting something or not. So, what should what should expect? What should I expect in this mode? Uh, let's let's have a listen. Let's have a listen to to the port. So, headphones. Nothing's coming through here. Let's watch. What can we do? Carriage forward, carriage reverse. Let's move the carriage around. Yeah, it's moving. Carriage is moving, so yeah, yes, it it, it it waits until stops. Yeah, so let's let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's close close the focus servo. So PGM pressing PGM listening clicks. It seems to me like initializing the servo the focus loop but I don't know if it's focusing so play start the spindle motor play yeah, it's rotating properly this time yeah and pause closing the tracking server so we should hear something, I, I think. Well, nothing's happening. We are off the test mode. I think it needs to needs to be turned off from the outlet. Yep. Up. Back again. Yeah, here we are. Turn on. Turn on. Disk. Same thing here, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. I presume this is something uh, wrong with uh, with the, the pickup uh, because the uh, spindle servo relies on a pickup. It, it has it has no it has no its uh, rotation sp counter or speed sensor. It, it relies uh, barely on the on the focusing on the um, 
on the surface on the surface of the disk and it's counting pits to maintain the right speed of, of the disk and if if this does not happening if uh, servo focus servo is, is damaged or the, the laser itself is not operating then uh, I think this is the this is the thing what else alarmed me alarmed me that this test uh, test point test jumper uh, seems like very well used so I suppose somebody somebody was trying to fix it maybe yes maybe not maybe it's from the factory nevertheless um, the last thing I will try I think I think I have gone really in depth here with uh, diagnosis I think the last thing I will do is to unscrew these three screws and uh, lift uh, the whole pickup assembly and we will see what is it inside so I will I, I will do it off camera like I, I will screw I will uh, release the screws and mm, we'll see together what is what is happening inside stand by I have unscrewed these three holding holding screws uh, in rubber feet and uh, this one holding the ground and uh, disconnected two uh, two wires one one the carriage and and two and two is the focus so let's lift it up and see what what is all about this this very assembly whoa it has no lens that's the problem it has no lens whoa 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 no lens whatsoever there should be a lens we are looking inside the laser diode so there should be a focusing lens that's a disaster that's a real disaster it may have fallen off somewhere but it is virtually it's it's quite impossible to it's quite impossible to get one there so i will look inside the inside this device for the lens uh, my diagnosis, my initial diagnosis was correct. The, there was no, there was no optical loop. There was no focusing loop. There was no focusing happening uh, whatsoever in this device. So it won't start the spindle motor just just because it had start the spindle motor in the uh, in the regular mode, not in test mode. Because it uh, just uh, it doesn't know about the speed of, of rotation. It must have uh, it must have been focused onto the onto the surface of, of the disk in order to have a, a rotation feedback. So no laser, no feedback. So, Sorry, guys. I have virtually left no stone unturned. This is the pickup uh, the carriage model. I have unmounted it and no sign of a lens here. Uh, this is the power transformer. Power transformer even unmounted that because I have like step by step uh, moving. I I I I will I I just I just wanted to to turn every every piece of equipment every board because the lens is small and could be virtually anywhere could be stuck to one of the ICs or somewhere I have even dismantled this front panel dismantled it front panel and you know what bingo here it is The pickup, well, focus, get the focus in, pick up a lens. Plastic lens, 
that has fallen off the the pickup, the laser pickup in this device. The glue may may start to to lose its properties, but nevertheless, here it is. I have found it, but uh, I should say that uh, putting it back, uh, like uh, gluing it back, is not a problem. But justifying the optical system, uh, I have read about it here in service manual. You should have should have nice uh, two beam oscilloscope. You should have special test disc, which I which I do not have. I do not want to go in depth. This is happens to be the end of part one. I don't know if there will be part two any in any time in future. Uh, honestly, I do not want to fix this thing. I didn't want to even disassemble it so deep because it's just a waste of my time. This is not a just an interesting interesting novelty this this uh, platter this uh, stable platter like like they call it the stable uh, stable platter mechanism i just wanted to to try it if if i hear any difference uh, between the regular cd player and this one and as for the seller uh, if you want to if you want to have it back uh, i will i will Put it back. I will put it back as as it was. I will put a lens in a separate container, so you will repair and uh, maybe sell to someone else. But you will have to pay. You will have to pay the return shipment because honestly, uh, I have done more work than I was thinking about. So please. I will send you I will send you the link to this video and please let me know uh, if you want this item back or not. Let's hope for the best and take care. Goodbye.